Hi Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is fantastic. We're gonna do your uh, January 2024 reading. We're gonna look at uh, some general messages first. We're gonna see just what comes through and then we'll dive deeper into the love portion of the reading. So I just wanna say, hope everybody is fantastic, healthy, safe, Happy holidays, and with that, okay, your cards are already dropping out here. Let's see what else uh, Cap, uh, no, Capricorn, maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn Aquarius needs to know um, for January 2024. What does uh, Aquarius need to know for January 2024? Already getting some interesting messages here. Wow. So definitely getting strong energy and love right off the bat. I, I feel like um, there, it feels like Aquarius, you've gone through some difficult situations, affairs of the heart here. And there is something here around making some sort of decision. Now, it could be you but the, um, or somebody else here, but maybe what you want someone to make a decision here around commitment because I am picking up commitment energy very very strongly here okay so some of you may feel now going into the new year there may be somebody that you're really like you want a commitment or you're looking for that commitment in your love life so you're going to be making some decisions I feel around your love life this commitment can also talk about business too so some of you may be making some decisions or thinking a lot about making a, a move in your career or in your love life you know, and this could, I feel here too, if you feel strongly this is around career, it could be about you really thinking about um, something that you love to do, you're passionate about doing. So the next card you have is assert yourself, okay? So this is really about you um, going after what you want it's telling you that january is going to be the month for you to go after what you want whether it's in career or this is going to be in love now it's also telling you the time is going to be right for a soulmate so this could be um definitely energy saying there's a soulmate coming in or a soulmate here that there is uh, definitely strong energy of commitment and then bottom of the deck, we have positive work outcomes. So this is telling you that you may see the efforts of whatever you are going to be committing yourself to or taking the making the effort. Um, it's reward, rewards after your continued efforts, basically. Okay, now some of you too, I feel like um, this energy there could be something that you've been thinking about purchasing, okay? Could be a large purchase or a big purchase in your life. And I feel like they're telling you that it is going to be worth it, okay? So that's that energy as well. So let's see what else. I'm going to pull a few more general messages and then we'll get into your love situation. Let's see. What else does Aquarius need to know for January 2024. Okay. So the first card you have is uh, flexibility. So what this is saying is Aquarius is that right now there may be a lot of unknowns. You may not have all the answers or you may not be feeling like you're seeing things clearly, but this is also telling you that you may need to look at things from a different perspective than maybe you have in the past. It's also telling you that you know, you may be feeling like you're in limbo at this moment, but, and it may feel really difficult or hard for you at this time, but it's telling you that it's going to pass, 
okay? Some of you, this can also be a release of karma. There may be something that you are also releasing, but you're also going to be manifesting because your next card here is manifesting. And this is telling you, you have the power to manifest what you want in your life, but you have to set the intention. And that might be why you have flexibility here because some of you may be feeling like you're, you don't know what you're trying to manifest. Maybe some of you want to make some sort of business change or career change. Um, that could be why you have assert yourself because there's something here about you taking the steps or some sort of intention to manifest exactly what you want, whether this is in love or whether this is in business and career. But it's really about you taking inspired action to make things happen in your life. It's just like magician energy. So that can be, you know, you writing things down right, to kind of set the tone, set your goals. Um, even in love, I would say manifest what you want, not a specific, I mean, write down what you want, not specifically a person, because who knows, maybe that person doesn't uh, have the qualities that you're trying to manifest. You also have here wisdom. So this is showing you, Aquarius, that you are very wise, very wise, very intelligent, um, I also see Aquarius as very um, inventive, very intuitive, very caring. Um, I feel like you're going to have some sort of opportunity where you're going to be a role model for someone. So it almost feels like the energy too that through some sort of situation that you are going through, they're going to see you take action and they're going to be inspired by your action. Okay, is really what I'm picking up here. And so there may be somebody who sees you as a role model or they want you to guide them in some sort of way. They want to use your wisdom and your experience. So whether you know this person or you meet this person in January, I, I see that energy. Bottom of the deck here, you have answers. So this is telling you that Whatever your current situation is, and I, I said it earlier, and I, I didn't even look at the bottom of the deck, you may not have all the answers right now, but they are coming. This is what it's telling you. It's also telling you that there could be some sort of new job opportunity um, that opens up for you that could bring a lot of stability, security. I'm also feeling like this is in love too. You can see there, there's a card, a tag here that says love. Okay, so there may be something about you getting some answers in a love situation or a new door is opening for you in love. So let's uh, get down to the tarot portion of the love. Let's see, uh, what else does Aquarius need to know? I will use those cards as it pertains to love as well. Actually, all the cards here. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Aquarius for love in January 2024? Okay. Interesting, because look what you have on the bottom of the deck. You have the four of wands. I feel like there is someone that you feel in limbo with or you can't get off of your mind uh, with, you know, the eight of swords and the four of wands. I feel like this is someone who isn't really committing, um, you know, or not feeling like this person is committed to the relationship, the connection. Or I feel like this is someone who can't make a commitment is the energy that I'm seeing. And, uh, you know, I'm seeing that this is very, very disappointing, not feeling like this is fair to you. Now, I said here, I feel like you may be feeling a bit in the dark, maybe feeling like, you know, you don't know what's upcoming here and is the energy of seeing things from a different perspective. There is an opportunity coming your way. Okay, so if there is a specific person on your mind, 
I feel that there is also something about to happen that is going to be a surprise to you. This is also a surprise here, this cup coming from the universe. It's telling me here, right, there is there is offers here. There's people around you, okay? Could be this person that I'm seeing, but something's going to happen, I feel here, okay? Ten of Cups. It could be something really happy that brings a lot of happiness into your life. We're going to clarify. I want to see what this is about, but I see hesitation. You know, we saw stuck energy here with this four of wands. I feel like there is someone that you already see as a partner here with this uh, emperor energy. It could be an Aries, Okay, five of wands, I see you struggling with this. I see you struggling, maybe feeling like things aren't going the way that you want them to go, right? Or maybe this is someone who just caused a lot of drama in your life. But I feel there's an energy of, you know, feeling like you're not getting anywhere when it comes to commitment is what I get. And remember I said with manifesting, I, you know, write down, what you want to manifest, not specifically a person. And then we have here the Three of Swords and we also have the Page of Wands, okay? I feel this is someone who broke your heart and I feel like with this Page of Wands, either this is someone who just keeps keeping this as a casual connection, maybe you talk with this person time to time, or this is someone who just, you know, can't commit, but uh, if some of you, you could get communication from this person. We're going to clarify. We're going to see what that's about. But remember, you have the wisdom card here with that. And what that tells me is that you, through your experience, why you've dealt with this person, you know a lot about this person already. And now it's about you moving forward with that wisdom. Now, I'm also feeling here too depending on as we clarify how it turns out, this could even be a new person coming into your life. So let's uh, clarify. Let's see why this Four of Cups is here. Thank you, Spirit. Why is the uh, Four of Cups here, please? Why is the Four of Cups here, please? Yep, look at that. Yeah, there's a new opportunity coming in for you. And that's why they're telling you, uh, Aquarius, to look at things from a different perspective. Because I feel like on an emotional level, okay, somebody who somebody that is coming to you very kind, I feel somebody who um, is going to be very focused and I feel like it's somebody who's looking for the long term in love here. Okay, could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. This is what you don't see, as I was saying here, something that you don't see. And that's why they're saying you need to look at it from a different perspective. Because I feel like this could be somebody that you could be really happy with. Okay, but you have to be looking in the, uh, the direction of other opportunities or put yourself out there. Now, some of you, you know, maybe you don't have uh, someone that you're dealing with, or maybe it's just that there was a past hurtful situation and, you know, you can't get that off of your mind. So it's hard for you to look forward. But I see if you do look forward with intent to manifest what you're looking for in a relationship, I see what's going to happen. That person's going to come in when you least expect it. Now, I will pull some more cards, so we'll get some timing as well. Um, but I do feel like this person coming towards you, okay, it's a giving energy. It does feel like this is somebody who is giving. Now, I want to move on to this other energy I'm seeing here, this Five of Wands. Tell me more about this Five of Wands. Tell me more about this Five of Wands. Okay, yeah, there's burdens here. And look what came out to the Five of Wands. And we also have here Judgment. There is somebody from your past where it's been very heavy for you, Aquarius, a feeling of not getting anywhere. It's probably this emperor here, so I'm going to clarify this emperor. Tell me more about this emperor. Now, some of you, you could have recently gone through a divorce, um, you know, or legal separation or something like that. But tell me more about this emperor or it just could be pain from a past divorce as well. But tell me more about this emperor. 
Yeah, I feel there's someone you had an ending with, okay? Because we do have, um, and look, this is confirmation. We got the emperor, and I'm seeing somebody here that it was a very difficult situation. Either this person involved you in a third party, or this is someone who didn't have good intentions. Somebody who was quite ruthless, um, and I feel like this was about this person getting what they wanted, but I don't feel like you did. And so that's where I feel like now this is about you kind of going back, looking at the past, you're more wise, and now you know what you want to manifest here, okay? And I feel like that, that Spirit's trying to show you that if you can look at things differently, gain a new perspective, maybe it's assert yourself, put yourself out there, right there is um, a very i feel like a happy relationship coming in for you now i want to see what's with this page of wands okay and this uh i'm going to first clarify the three of swords tell me more about this three of swords virgo energy and we also have aquarius day but gemini yeah, this is, this is your energy. I see you thinking a lot about the betrayal, the hurt, or whatever the situation is for you. It could be, you know, a, something very painful that happened in the past with somebody, but I see you really doing a lot of thinking about this. And I feel like you're, um, you know, as I said, you've gained a lot of wisdom through this experience. You know, I almost get here um, on a side note, Aquarius, I feel like some of you, either now or in the future, that could be this role model, this mentor energy that I see, you, through this um, love situation, I feel like you may share some of your experiences to help other people. So whether this is a friend or maybe you um, do something on YouTube or TikTok or, you know, um, social media, but I'm also picking up that energy too. Tell me more about this page of wands. Tell me more about this page of wands. Okay, double energy, Capricorn, four of pentacles, the full card. Yeah, so whoever this person is for you, this past person, you're going to hear from this person because I'm seeing it here, the devil you got um, also Four of Pentacles energy, but this is someone, they're still going to try and hold on to you, okay? Or they're going to come back around. And um, I don't know why, <laughs> okay, I'm getting like a leech. I don't know if this person's a leech, okay? Or I'm going to say be cautious with your money. If you've given this person money, I don't know. I'm hearing that as well. They're going to come back around, but they're still in this um, kind of casual energy. You know, I see the fool too as a single energy. This is someone I feel who is going to be careless, okay, irresponsible type of energy. They could even be, I'm just going to say, they could be narcissistic. They could be somebody who love bombs so i would be very very cautious with this energy and again a confirmation here yep somebody from the past that hurt you so somebody from the past that hurt you you're going to hear from this person in january um and i would say be very very cautious with this person but i also feel like spirit's trying to show you there is going to be another offer that comes in for you when you're least expecting it but it's only going to be if you are going to be open to it that's why flexibility is here so it's almost like right you have to start looking ahead thinking about possibilities of somebody else coming into your life is what i'm seeing there so i feel like i'm just going to pull a couple cards regarding this person from the past and new love. What does what else does Aquarius need to know about this person from the past? Look at that. That says it all. Yeah, this is someone not wanting to commit. This is someone I feel like this is someone who will continue. I feel you will feel um 
you won't get what you need and this is someone who is not going to value you i'm sorry that's what i'm seeing here okay somebody who has not uh learned a lesson um, is what I'm getting and I also get here somebody and I said that earlier somebody who I feel will who will not co commit and look devil energy this is someone you will repeat a pattern with you will continue to sacrifice they feel your happiness that I mean messages are coming out really strong and clear there okay that's what the current energy is showing so let's see uh, what the new energy is showing uh, Aquarius please show Aquarius about this new offer coming in competition there's ten of cups wow you had ten of cups here with this new uh, person king of swords I feel like I saw the king of swords oh over here yeah that was that was your energy look at that okay I can't make this up ten of pentacles there is competition coming in here okay and as I said I feel somebody you could be really happy with. This is someone I feel who will make you uh, complete emotionally. Could be another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But what's really uh, strong here is that you will not have to question things with this person, Ten of Pentacles. This is someone that you are going to meet that is very confident, very confident, and they're not afraid to take action. And beautiful, beautiful energy could turn into something long lasting. Wow, Aquarius. Very nice reading. Okay. Um, but like I said, you have free will and choice. Let's see. I'm going to leave you with some final messages. What else does Aquarius need to know? Okay, interesting. We got the moon energy again. Number 21, which is three. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. Okay, so right now, you know, you may be feeling a limbo, like you don't have all the answers. 21, which is three, is telling me there's something new. The birth of something new is about to happen. And you can't see it right now, but they're telling you to move forward anyway. And that was that energy too. You may be feeling like in the dark about things, but that's going to pass. We also have here luck. You are right to be strong and optimistic about the, the opportunities ahead. And that's another confirmation because I said that earlier is that you know, you may not be, you may not be able to see things clearly, but there are, there are new, there's a new opportunity coming in for you. And then look, another number three, repeating threes and ones are going to be important in January. So you may uh, get the signs and synchronicities. It says, open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. There's a lot of happiness coming in towards you. Uh, Aquarius and January may be a very lucky month for you and a very intuitive month I'm picking up as well so Aquarius I hope uh, you enjoyed your reading I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and I'm sending you angel love